All right. We are rolling. It is Thursday, May 26th, 11.55 a.m. We are going to attempt a bike ride. Uh, we are going to attempt a bike ride from my house to my parents' house and back. Should be about eight miles there, eight miles back. I don't really have a choice but to be successful. Because uh, I have no one to pick me up or drop me off. So, we're also going to take a little bit, like, not a straight route there, and maybe the same thing on the way back. So I'm going to take an intentionally longer route, just to mix it up so that we don't do the same path there and back. So, yeah. This route I'm taking right now to get to my parents' house is not the most direct route that I could take, but we're going to do it. We're going to do it anyway. And then might take a more direct path back, especially because my legs are going to be tired and I have to get back because taking care of three dogs right now including my own dog. All cute, awesome dogs. So hopefully the camera battery's not gonna die. That's all I'm hoping for. Cause it's like seven and a half miles, but that's if I was taking the most direct route. This is not the most direct route. It's like seven and a half miles there and seven and a half miles back. If I take the most direct route, you know, according to GPS. But like I said, I'm not doing that right now. So, the route there right now could be eight, maybe nine miles, I don't know. And the way back will hopefully be closer to seven and a half or eight. But, either way, this whole trip is going to take, I mean, at least like 80 minutes, right? I would think. Plus that doesn't include the fact that once I get to my parents' house, I prefer to stop for water. I brought a key so I can go in and just stop for like some water because I'll probably be very dehydrated. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna cramp, I think. I should not have eaten before this. And I ate leftover pizza too, man. But hey, we're gonna give it a go. If you 
watched any of the running videos, you may recognize this area a bit. Unfortunately, it's a beautiful day again, cloudy, funnily enough, 69 degrees again, for all you weirdos watching. But yeah, amazing weather to be outside, that's for sure.
man, it is just a gorgeous day. Birds chirping. The ground is still damp. Or the grass, I should say. Yeah, this is definitely not the fastest route we could have taken, but that's okay. It's more of like the back roads route instead of taking like a main road. On the way back, we're going to take more of a main road if the camera battery lasts that long. Not sure if it will. I hope we're going the right way. I think we are. I don't go down this road very much. By car and certainly not on foot. I really hope we're going the right way. This seems kind of long to be on this road. I've got to really try not to bump the camera lens this time. The last video I did, like 20 or 25% of the video, and then there was a little bit of like glare from the sweat on the lens or whatever for the rest of the video. Oh, okay, nice. Wait. Oh. Oh, this is not where I expected this to take us. Oh, shoot. Um. Yeah, this is definitely not the shortest route we could have taken at all. Yeah. We definitely just added on a good chunk of mileage there. Yikes. Yikes.
yikes, my legs are going to be tired. Shoot, I'm trying to think about which way I should have gone then to get to where I was hoping to go. Dang. Well, you can see they're doing a cleared out that whole lot there. Gonna build some homes or apartments or whatever. <sighs> yeah, my quads are burning already. They are burning. We are not even 25% of the way finished with this video. <clears throat> and they're burning. I ran a lot yesterday. Biked a little bit yesterday. And on top of that. On top of that. I ran two races back to back two days ago. So. I am... A little bit tired, to be honest with you. A little bit tired. Plus, I'm biking in the highest gear right now. Third gear on the left, seventh gear on the right. And it's been like that for minutes. I wanted to do a track workout today. It's just, I'm feeling some tingling in my shin, my left leg. Don't want to have any nerve, nerve issues, nerve damage or anything like that. It's dangerous. So I wanted to take it a little easy today and maybe just bike today, no running. But, yeah, I wanted to do a track workout today. Like a, a s speedier track workout. But maybe I'll just try to do that tomorrow. Because running is the most high-impact sport. It can be so damaging for your joints. All these chronic overuse injuries from overtraining and all that, all that stuff. So I want to be careful if I'm feeling some spasm in my shin just gotta be careful so yeah now i think maybe i'm gonna just make a left here and then yeah like i said it won't be the most direct route but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then go straight on the way back. That is if I'll even get signal here. Not sure. But yeah, no left turn signal, but. No vehicles approaching, so we're good. See now, this road that's coming up on the right, that's where I wanted to end up. I didn't want to take that road I just took, that I just turned off. Oh, I was gonna take that road on the way back. Take this road on the way out here. See where this light is, this red light? That's where I was hoping to come from. And then just go straight across where I'm gonna turn on to now. 
boat. I ended up going pat over that overpass. Oh, so this is Brockett Road all the way here. So maybe I'll take that, I'll take that route on the way back home then. I think that's what I'll do. We'll kind of mix it up then here. That's what we'll do. Do a kind of crisscross maneuver. So instead of taking, you know, significantly longer route on the way out and then a very direct route on the way back, we'll kind of do a mixture of both on the way out and back. A hybrid of sorts. And that'll work. Cross over some familiar territory on the way back. And be able to take a little scenic route through the neighborhood here. That was my whole plan. But doing this, we're going to end up at more stoplights probably, but... It's okay. I forgot to even like time this bike ride, but I know we started biking at 11.55. Now, it doesn't take into account the times that I saw, but... Hey, it is what it is. Not gonna get it perfectly. But yeah, I think we've been biking for about 23 minutes then. Or no, we probably started biking at 11.56, so yeah. But I started up the camera at 11.55, so yeah. And I have Rocksteady on, shooting in 1080p, 30fps. So hopefully, because last time I was shooting for like what? Oh, never mind actually. Yeah, last time, I don't know. I was shooting for like 45 or 50 minutes on that other video. And we used up about 60% of the battery that time. I don't know. And that was with the same settings. At least I hope that's what I'm shooting with right now. Wait, am I even on the right road? I hope so. Yeah, I am. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Doge, beautiful Doge. Dogi, it's a beautiful house. They repaved these sidewalks recently. I haven't run on this sidewalk in a while. But yeah, I'm trying to estimate how long, how much longer until we get to my parents' house. I might just not even stop. I might just get there and turn around because I do. I want to make it all the way back to my house with the cam without the camera dying. Now, I don't feel that dehydrated yet. I mean, I'm not cramping, but if I'm cramping, then we're way past the point of where we're in severe dehydration at that point. You want to stay ahead when it comes to hydration, but I don't know. I don't want the camera to die. I guess we'll see how many minutes in total it takes to get there. And I'll go based off that. I'm gonna assume that this camera battery is not, you guys see that garden? I don't know if you can see me when I turn over there. This is where I used to play soccer as a kid. Over here to the right. I'm trying to turn to the right, but also I gotta focus on the road ahead of me. And the only way for the camera to look to the right is for me to turn my torso and not just my head. But that's kind of hard to do when you're riding a bike. A little bit dangerous. Stay safe out there, kids. That's a smushed squirrel that you just saw. Beautiful sight. But yeah, to the right here. 
It's the park where I used to play soccer. Deer crossing. You know the vibes? In the burbs. Pumping the brakes a little bit just because I don't really trust this bike considering the fact it was sitting in a shed in my storage shed for uh, over a year and before that it was sitting in my parents garage for a few years not really being ridden so don't want to just fully let go on these downhills I do not even though I had a technician from REI check out this bike I still want to be careful don't 100% trust it. Wow, that gear is slow. <sighs> Gotta go a little slower though and conserve the energy. Hopefully we get there within 40 minutes of when I started recording. Because when I started recording is exactly when I turned on the camera. So that was about 28 minutes ago. I don't know though, it's not looking too good. I don't think we're gonna be back there in 12 minutes. I don't think so, because we took this long route. I want to take a more scenic route on the way back, but I don't want the camera battery to die, man. I might just take it a direct route the way back, the most direct route, and that still will take a while. I don't know. Fingers crossed that the battery doesn't die. That's all I'm saying. Fingers crossed. I just don't know how long on a, like, if I was running, it'd take me like 11 or 12 minutes to get back home if I was just going at a normal pace from where I am right now on a bike. I don't know how long. It is going to be uphill now to get back. But I'm assuming it would take about half that amount of time. I think. Just depends how fast I'm going, I guess. Over there to my left is a middle school and there's a middle school track down there that I used to always use for workouts when I lived in my parents' house. I could still film a workout there, put it on YouTube or something. But I like the high school track that's like only less than a mile from my house now, Stone Mountain. I like that track a lot better. It's way nicer. <clears throat> That's the one you guys have seen in my videos if you've been watching any of them. Recent videos. Oh, I hate having to stop like that. It just ruins my momentum, man. That's tough. All right, so now we're about nine minutes from the house on foot. By way of bike, we'll see. We will see. 
Yeah, I'm going to the lower gear to save energy, man. Can't be burning out the legs yet. Can't do it. And the wind's not helping me here. I was thinking, uh, I'm probably gonna go to this uh, party. My, um, all right, hold on. Probably gonna go to this party that they have every year. In my parents' neighborhood, the neighborhood pool. And I wanna record some of it, but I don't know if there's gonna be much good to record at the pool unless i was taking the camera underwater and i'm pretty sure this camera is like you know certified uh to go like in shallow water like that you know to a certain depth but i don't know if i trust that maybe if i bought a case for it But yeah, that's only four days away, that party. Right? May 30th is Memorial Day? Monday, May 30th? Or is... Yeah. I think that Monday is the 30th. I think. I believe. So I'm going to go to that, but... There's going to be food there, and it's going to be a fun time, but I'm not sure if I'll record that or not. I mean, I could always record and cut the camera when I go in the pool, but what would be the fun in that? Oh man, these sounds are scaring me, man. The gears don't turn because the chain comes off and I can't get it back on. Then I'm stranded and video is ruined. I'm gonna be honest with you. I might need to get this bike a tune up. I really might need to. All I did was get the inner tubes replaced. That's it. I think this bike needs a tune up. It was brand new when I bought it, but that was like six years ago. At least five years ago. Wow, that is nasty and smelly. Starting to sweat a little bit. Just a tad. Thankfully, like I said, it's only 69, 70 degrees. Nice and cool for May. No sun. It's great. Definitely have that to be thankful for. 
All right, so this is not too bad. If I could be really quick and we can go back faster than we came here, then theoretically we should have time to go inside and grab a sip of water and keep going. We're less than a minute away now. Next street, I'm gonna turn right, and we're basically there. This road is very bumpy. When I was really little, it didn't used to be this bad. But hey, that was 10 years ago now, or more than that, happens. All right, we're pretty much here. I'm gonna try to make this just two minutes. Preserve as much camera battery as possible. I'm not even gonna grab a bottle of water because I'm not gonna drink the whole thing. I'm gonna just grab some water from the fridge. Keep it moving. Here we are. We made it halfway or over halfway because we took a longer route to get here than necessary than was necessary so all right oh man get out the key should be this key. Got my house key and this house key. I'm pretty sure I know the difference. Yep. Nice. It's dark, so you can't really see anything. That's fine. Just gonna rehydrate really quickly. Can't see anything to know if these are clean. Should be good. Now we're just gonna keep going. Conserve that camera better. Door is locked. Now we go back. <clears throat> Not even gonna use the restroom. I don't really feel like I even need to use the restroom right now, so. I need to walk this up, Brody, I'm gonna be honest. Can't really switch gears right now. I'll give you guys a quick look at the house real quick while I turn around, in case you didn't see. Now you can see, kind of. Well, hopefully you got a good look, because we out now. There's a car behind me, I'm not trying to hold them up. Yeah, my left knee is bugging, but I stretched a lot yesterday and today. Gonna have to just do that more after. Work on massaging those trigger points too. Gotta do more of that. I'm not gonna lie, that chick was kind of bad. I don't know who that is. 
waving at me. Good Samaritan. But I know this much. I want to get back home. That's all I know. All right. I'm gonna actually take a little back roads route through the neighborhood real quick. Oh, I actually should have gone. Wait, can I still go there? I'm trying to think. No, I can't. Oh, I should have gone the other way. Oh, that way would have. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to go the other way I was thinking of another time for a video. Wait a minute, which way did I? I'm trying to think how. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's too late now. Should have gone the other way I was thinking of. Like, as soon as I left the house, I could have turned left instead of right and gone through the neighborhoods there. Past this, uh, past this elementary school. Beautiful neighborhood. Like, through the neighborhood where my parents live. And then gone out to the main road there instead of here. Because now here I'm going to spend another mile on the main road than I would have if I took that route. That route is shorter, I think. And you're not on the main road nearly as long, so it's also safer. Now, fortunately, it's not exactly rush hour. It's pretty early. Like, it's 12.38 p.m., so yeah, not rush hour at all. All the nine to fivers are at work right now or on their lunch break. So no heavy traffic. So, relatively safe, because this road is not the safest, I'm not going to lie. People will drive really fast on this road. I mean, I'm no exception, I ain't going to lie to you. So, just got to be careful. Because all I got is a cheap plastic helmet to protect myself. What the heck? That dude has inflatable legs sticking out the back of his trunk. He has a, that's the weirdest like bumper sticker type thing I've ever seen in my life. Cutting through CVS. WCVS. So I don't have to set the light. And of course they have the green arrow right there anyway. Like I said, not the safest. He was driving an Audi, driving like 80 and a 40. Psychotic, bro. Psychotic. It's not even the really expensive Audi either. You ain't fooling anybody with that shit. What are you driving, like Audi A3? Like shit, man. I ain't impressed, bro. You ain't no tough guy. We all know people driving cars like that, speeding excessively like that for no good reason. They usually compensating for something, man. Ain't gonna lie to you. See, now I could go on the sidewalk. I'm sure a lot of people might be thinking that in the comments or whatever. But the thing is, I ain't trying to get a flat tire and get stranded out here. 
and too many people be dropping all kinds of garbage on the sidewalk and just littering whatever they feel like. I mean, people do that from their cars too, but the thing is that so many cars drive over that their tires usually kick all the stuff off to the shoulder, like all this garbage you see on the shoulder. That's why I don't ride in the shoulder like that unless I have to. Because look at that, there's glass right there. Plus, the sidewalk isn't always the most even surface to travel on. So, it's not ideal. Roads are usually a lot smoother. But yeah, this is the... Oh, it's starting to rain a little bit. Yep. Forecast did say there was like 50% chance of rain and then 100% chance, but didn't say 100% chance until like 4 p.m. It's not even 1 p.m. So, shoot. Damn, the lens is gonna get fogged up and watery. Rain feels nice though, can't lie. Feels nice. And all in all, we're getting a really solid workout here. Not nearly as intense as if I was doing a track workout like I had initially planned or just a normal run, but still a good workout and a cardio workout and a lot less impact on my joints and on my muscles and tendons and ligaments. This is the road I wanted to come out from back there by the this is the elementary school right here to my right if I went through the neighborhood I would have came out there probably gotten here in about half the time maybe I don't know it's a little hilly but definitely a shorter route and I wouldn't have spent nearly as much time on the main road Black bear. That's cool. Now this road I drive on all the time. That's the same car I have. White Honda Accord Sport. Mine's 2018 model. One of the most plain cars you can get on the market. But hey, you know, it's fuel efficient and cost effective. So I ain't complaining. I believe in getting a good bang for your buck. I'm all about practicality, you know. It gets you from point A to point B safely, which, hey, this bike's doing that too. It's not quite as fast. Thankfully, we haven't had any issues with the bike. I just gotta be careful, because, you know, it's not raining that much, but the roads can still get a bit slippery, and, like I said, the only protection I have is an old, cheap plastic helmet. I don't know. I really am thinking about lowering the suspension on this bike. Might be able to get a lot more speed out of it that way. I thought I switched to the top gear already. I can go a little bit faster than this, son. That's better. 
I ain't gonna lie, that Honda Odyssey van was really close to me right there. I ain't gonna lie. Man, it's May 26th and I still have not uploaded those races from May 24th. Some really solid performances too. For not racing in over five years and not running a track competition over five years. So uh, it, for those who don't know, I mean, I'm gonna post that video before I post this video, but as of right now, I haven't finished or even started making either video, so. Yeah, but I ended up running the 800 meters and the 5k and the 5k was only like 40 minutes after the 800. I don't want to spoil my times, but let's just say I was pretty pleased. Honestly, actually I could spoil my times because like I said, I'm going to upload that video first anyway. So I don't think it really matters. So yeah, I'll just say it. So, my 5K PR, unfortunately, is still 14 minutes, 54 seconds, but that was when I was 19, over five years ago, and I am not in that kind of shape now. I've only been training consistently in terms of running, you know, some cardio training, like not just bodybuilding stuff, because like the cardiovascular stuff is where I really need to work. Musculoskeletally, I'm, I've been in pretty good shape the last five years, but cardio wise I really fell off but with that said for only about not even two months of like pretty much daily cardio training for racing a 5k I thought it was pretty I did pretty well I ran like 16 minutes 40 seconds when I had the edit the video I'll see exactly what the time was but it was like 16 minutes 40 seconds something like that for a 5k that's 12 and a half laps around the track but like I said, my PR is almost two minutes lower than that. But I ran that when I was in prime shape, cardio-wise. And I was running, you know, anywhere from 60 to 100 plus miles a week in college at the University of Georgia. And so I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, 1640, that's like, that's like a little bit better than my PR as a sophomore in high school. But I only started running track as a freshman in high school and a sophomore, cross country as a sophomore, so. See, now we're gonna have to sit at this light. See, now I was gonna go right here and then turn left onto that Brocket Road that we saw earlier, but that'll just add more distance to this, to this uh, bike ride. Now I am spending time sitting out, out of light here, but. If we get the light here soon, it should be worth it. We already added enough distance on the way out here and I'm trying to get back. And I already messed up. I took a route on the way back and on the way here that I didn't want to take, but it's all good. But anyway, yeah, I, I ran the 800 in 203, two minutes, three seconds. That's two laps around the track. I ran that. And my PR was two minutes, five seconds, uh, 0.67 seconds, 205.67. That was my PR from uh, senior year in high school, 2015. So I was pretty pleased with, with that. I was pretty pleased with, uh, like I said, I only did a couple track workouts and they were all within like the last week or two. I only did a couple track workouts and I've only been training for like a month and a half or two months. So to beat my 800 PR from high school by two seconds, I'm pretty pleased with that. And not only that, but then I turned around and 40 minutes later, something like that, about 40 minutes later, not much rest, 
Plus, I did not do a proper warm up and cool down. I was in a rush to get to the meet. Things did not go as planned. I was in a rush to get to the meet, and then, and then I was in a rush to do my warm up. I barely made it to the start line for the 5K in time. Thank goodness I did, but yeah, it was kind of a mess. I was not properly loose for the 5K at all. And, and I feel like I didn't even give it 100% effort in either race. But I ran 203 in the 800, two second PR. And then about 40 minutes later, I ran the 5K and ran like 1640, which if you don't know is like 520 something per mile for 3.1 miles, not too bad. So considering my fitness level, and uh, how long I've been training, I'll take that. Plus, you have to consider my exertion. Like I said, I feel like my effort was not 100%. Like, in the 800 and in the 5K, there were times during the race where I was like, what are you doing, Steven? Just wake up, man. I haven't raced in so long. I wasn't used to it. I was just like in a trance, like just going through the motions. I feel like I can definitely give as long as I stay loose, flexible, injury free, and in good shape, I feel like he can definitely run better times in both those events. And at the same, at the same venue, they're running, they're running the open all comers meet again next week and the week after, and then at a different venue for the last week. So they got three more weeks of the all comers meets. You'll see in the video, they, there's kids, adults, parents, children of all ages running men women boys girls but they run different heats based on what people call the honor system we're basically just you know are honest about what pace you think you're gonna run so i went into the fastest heat of the 800 and the 5k i probably got like fifth place in both of them i mean nothing special but at the same time i'm running i'm racing against like high schoolers that are in prime shape and training every day for track and cross country but we'll work on it I think the winner in the 800 ran like or maybe second place ran like 159 but i think in two weeks time because like i said in the previous video next week they're running the 400 for the distance events even the 400 is not a distance event it's a sprinting event but for the longer distance events they're running the 400, the 1500, and the 3000 meters all back to back to back. That's what they're doing next week. And then they're going back to the same, the same format that I just did uh, two days ago, which was 800, then the mile, full mile, 1600, nine meters, and then the 5K. But I didn't run the mile. They're all back to back to back, and I didn't want to be a psycho. Running the 800 and then the 5K was already a lot without much rest and without a proper cool down and stuff. But next time we'll do it better. So I'm planning to probably do the same thing. Run the full, I, like, not the same thing because they're different events, but it's like the same kind of schedule. I'm planning to probably run the 400 which is like takes place at the same time like the 800 did uh, on Tuesday, two days ago. This is the middle school here. They have a track there too, but the high school, this middle school is like two and a half miles from my house. The high school is less than a mile from my house and the track is better at the high school. So yeah, I don't know. I might actually still run after this. I don't even, I just got to see what my legs feel like. I need a stretch for sure massage my my uh quadricep my patellar tendon stretch been stretching my hip flexors a lot so that's good but gotta make sure i'm right if i do run it's gonna be nice and easy no track workout until tomorrow and then hopefully a long run like maybe 12 miles 12 mile run on Saturday if I have the energy after a track workout tomorrow otherwise maybe I'll do it Sunday 
But then if I do it Sunday, Monday, I got to take really easy because Tuesday is when we race again. If I do a long run Sunday, I'm probably only going to bike on Monday. Either only bike or just like really easy, short, like 30 minute run or something. I also didn't do a shakeout run Tuesday morning like I had planned. That Everything just did not go as planned. I didn't even test my spikes until I was there last minute. Thankfully, they fit. I wore the new Super Spikes, the Nike Zoom X Dragonfly. They're not really new, but they're new to me. My first time wearing them. They felt good. My legs didn't feel sore at all after the race or the next day. Even though I didn't feel much of a difference wearing the Super Spikes during the race. After, it's crazy. Normally, in high school and college, my calves would be trashed absolutely destroyed annihilated after a race but with the super spikes it didn't feel like that at all legs feel good they felt good then they feel good now no crazy soreness so that's good but yeah this upcoming tuesday plan is to probably run the 400 and then just oh no oh this is not it guys this is bad. This is what I was scared of, bro. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me it didn't come off. The chain didn't. Oh, come on. We're almost home, too. That's the thing. All right. I hope we're. I think we're good. I'm going to have to switch gears to make sure. God, man. I thought I could make it up in gear two, and then I was like, heck no. Shoot, man. Hey, it's all good. All right, so we've only been, only been filming for like an hour. We could have taken the longer route. Next time we gotta take a little longer route. I think the camera's definitely gonna make it. So that's good. But anyway. What I was saying is, it's Thursday, race two days ago, I'm gonna race the next three Tuesdays. Also gonna maybe do the 5K on, on one of these Saturdays. You get a free ticket to an Atlanta Bra Braves game if you register and stuff. But I wanna see if I can get there free because I have an Atlanta Track Club membership. But yeah, I'm not sure what other races I'm gonna run besides the three all-comers meets the next three weeks and the Peachtree Road Race, which is on July 4th. That's a 10,000 meter road race, so. Other than those, I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna be racing, but we're at least gonna race those this summer and then some stuff in the fall and. Yeah, if I can find any good free or cheap road races this summer, we'll do those too. Try to get in better and better shape, get our times down. Just get back in a groove, get back in the old rhythm of running, mechanics, breathing, higher mileage, just better shape, better fitness, so our easier and longer runs feel easier, or sorry, our harder and longer runs feel easier and easier. Cross train when I feel it's appropriate. And when I just want to make a video like this, biking, and talk to you guys. So, that's that. Anyway, so next Tuesday, planning on running the 400, and then sit out the 1500, just watch the 1500, chill, stretch, warm up properly, hopefully, because we didn't do that last time, and then run the 3K. It's going to be about the same amount of time for a break. It's only going to be like 40, 45 minutes, maybe max in between the 400 and the 3k but both those distances are shorter i mean theoretically you should be running faster but they're also shorter so they should not be as tiring on my legs when it comes to uh you know the fatigue the muscle fatigue setting in shouldn't be as bad Same amount of break, but 
like pretty much half the distance on both events. So the plan is to run the 400, chill for the 1500, not run that, and then run the 3K. Just like on Tuesday, we ran the 800, sat out the mile, and then ran the 5K. And then the next week, it'll be same thing. We'll run the 800 and the 5K again, I think is the plan. And then the, and then the last week, we'll probably do the same thing again, run the 400 and then the 3K. Or if we run a really good uh, time, I'm, a solid time I'm happy with for the 4K and the 3K this upcoming week, then maybe we'll just run the 1500 the last week and nothing else and see what we can do there. But I haven't decided yet. We'll just have to see how we how we race. Because I was, you know, I was pleased with how we raced on Tuesday, but I know I could have done a lot better. I didn't. I feel like I did not exert myself fully. I did not give 100% effort. I feel like in two weeks' time, when I run the 800 and the 5K again, I feel like I can, if I push myself and I stay injury-free and I stay in at least this shape or better, I feel like in two weeks' time I can break two minutes in the 800 and break 16 minutes in the 5K. I'm very confident that I can do that as long as I stay on top of, you know, taking care of my body, especially this left knee and stuff. The left knee is just really my main concern. As long as I can keep that cool, keep the inflammation down around my left knee, maybe take some ibuprofen before the race if I have a little snack just to, to numb the pain and, and reduce the inflammation during the race, then I'm very confident we can break two as long as I just push myself and I have people to push me again. Because like I said, I, I got like fourth or fifth in the 800 and same thing in the 5K. There were, there were people, you know, some pretty fast kids pushing the pace. I just got to go with them. Just hang on. Stay focused during the race and should be able to get it done. So that's the goal in two weeks' time is break two minutes in the 800 and break 16 minutes in the 5K. We'll see what happens. Even if we break 16 minutes in the 5K, like I said, that's still over a minute off my personal best. But, hey, you know, you can only do so much at one time. And being about a minute off my PR with only this much training, when, you know, when I ran 14.54 in the 5K and 30.52 in the 10K, you know, arguably I was at my peak of cardiovascular fitness. Like... My peak so far in life. I think I could have, you know, if I kept going, I could have run a lot faster. But all things considered, that was technically my peak so far. And so to be back near that peak already with only this much training, that has me, uh, that definitely has me um, optimistic about, about the future. So we're going to give competitive racing, you know, a good run this year and just see, see what we can do. The main thing is just staying injury free and not, you know, avoiding, avoiding burnout, staying injury, staying healthy, avoiding burnout. As long as we do those two things, stay focused, then... I believe we can give it a good run, have some fun, see where it leads, and then we'll go from there, see what we can accomplish in 2022 if we want to continue doing it or just run for fun, because it certainly feels good to run again. Miss running every day and competing. Competing is, for people that are watching that have competed in middle school, high school, college sports, because I competed in a one middle school race. I didn't really run in middle school at all very much, just on this fun little club team that met twice a week. I only did that in like eighth grade. So I didn't compete in middle school races really, but I competed in high school track and cross country and in college track and cross country division one. For the people in the comments that have competed in stuff like that, whether it's elementary, middle school, high school, college, beyond the pros, you know how it is, man. Especially if you have that competitive drive, that competitive nature. It's fun. It's fun. Not just 
racing others, but pushing, pushing your limits. Being around the sport, working recently has just inspired me to want to try to make a comeback, see what I can do. And so here we are, we'll, we'll give it, we'll give it a go. Anyway, we're back. We made it back in about, what, an hour and 10 minutes, 70 minutes. So camera battery definitely lasted that long. It's good to see. Whew. We made it back, back to the crib. Just like in my parents' house, I'll give you guys a little view. Yeah, my, wow. You know that feeling of weightlessness you kind of have when you finish a long run or bike ride or anything, any sort of sport or uh, workout that's demanding on your lower body? That's what I feel right now. Like you can feel like the soreness is gonna set in later, but right now it just feels really, I don't know, euphoric kind of. That's probably too strong of a word, but it feels nice. That weightlessness kind of feeling. But anyway, we're back. I have to go tend to these dogs. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I'll be uploading this soon, but like I said, I'm planning to upload the race, uh, race video first, get that footage on YouTube and, you know, maybe Instagram, probably upload some stuff on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Stay tuned. Um, check the description or pin comment. If you have any questions, just comment. Let me know. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, yeah, we'll have the 800 and 5k footage up soon. Then this video, and then we'll be racing, um, at least at three more track meets this summer, the next three weeks. And then the, uh, Peachtree road race, 10,000 meter road race, at least those, as long as we stay injury free, I'll be hopefully posting some, some footage of those. And we'll just go from there. So yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully the footage wasn't totally ruined from the rain. Uh, I don't think it was, but you know, we will find out. But yeah, homies, my hair is probably all messed up from this helmet. But yeah, man, I have no idea what I look like right now. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, man. Thank you so much. You guys have a good one.